Cryptocurrency is still a relatively new and novel investment, and yes, it can be risky. Some financial advisors don't recommend investing in it at all. Even so, this digital medium of exchange is out there, and unfortunately, so are the scammers trying to capitalize on it. A grandmother from Wyandotte shared her experience with me, so you don't waste your money. Rashid Smith. That's a name Beth Carmona will probably never forget. The 71-year-old grandmother from Wyandotte says his Facebook page listed him as a cryptocurrency investor with more than 100,000 in sales. Somebody posted what he was doing for them. He claimed to have a long list of credentials and communicated with her via messenger, email, and WhatsApp. How much money did you first invest? Like $200. And she kept investing, receiving images of what she thought was her growing Bitcoin nest egg. When did you first think, oh goodness, this might be a scam? When they kept asking for more money and I wasn't getting funded. You know, I was, uh, well, there's been a delay. The, the account's been hijacked. You have to pay taxes. Excuse after excuse. How much money did you lose? A lot, <laughs> a lot, uh, well, close to close to $10,000. She reported the scam to the Better Business Bureau. So in these cases, no cryptocurrency was ever really purchased. Right, you're just paying the scammer directly and they're able to fabricate it so that it looks like you can view, you know, a large amount of money you have sitting in a bank or cryptocurrency um, exchange. Ashley Gibbard says the BBB of Eastern Michigan has received a half a dozen cryptocurrency scam complaints since the beginning of this year. Gibbard recommends you search for registered brokers on BrokerCheck by FINRA, the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, which is a not-for-profit organization overseen by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Rashid Smith is nowhere to be found on BrokerCheck. What made him look real to you? Well, um, his pictures, I mean, he looked sophisticated, professional. But when our team did a reverse image search, Jason O'Neill popped up, a self-described husband, father, and e-commerce entrepreneur in Jacksonville, Florida. I reached out to O'Neill for comment, but have yet to hear back. It's heartbreaking, you know, you save money, you know, and we had things planned for that money. It is heartbreaking, and Beth says that she'd been saving up to take her family to Disney World, a dream trip that she and her late husband had always wanted to do. So she's understandably upset by all of this, and she wanted to share her story to help other people spot these scammers.